Hello guys, how are you? This is uh, Eduardo and uh, welcome to another episode of the Beach It series. We are now flying at uh, flight level 400 and uh, we are en route uh, from Monterey del Norte into Las Vegas, my current international airport. And uh, right now we are crossing, um, well, we are, we are about to cross El Paso, we're about 100 miles off and uh, level at flight level 400. And uh, on this episode, I want you to um, I'll show off the cockpit and uh, uh, let you become familiar with uh, every instrument that we have on board. And uh, we have a pretty, pretty good, uh, smooth uh, flight today and uh, a low layer down there in the clouds. And uh, uh, let's, let's go into the cockpit. So right now, over here, just to uh, show you off uh, the... Uh, PFD and the MFD instruments uh, will will tell us uh, airspeed over here the Mach uh, number. We are uh, level at flight level four zero zero selected altitude actual altitude uh, altimeter setting. We're, we're now using the standard altimeter and uh, VSI vertical speed indicator. We do have an HSI uh, here, and we're using white needles. That means that uh, we are flying with the FMS. Um, as a navigation source. We can do that using this button and uh, select uh, either source if we, we want to use uh, VOR1, FMS1, VOR2, FMS2 that, that will show up here. White needles means that we are using FMS1 over there and um, green needles will, will, will show up a uh, VOR or raw data so uh, let me show you how we, how we do that. First of all, I will need to select the heading mode so we don't uh, drift off the route. So right now we're using heading mode on the autopilot. And let me go to the navigation source. I'll, I will use the VOR1 and voila. See that? We are now using VOR1 and uh, green needles. So let's uh, return white needles. We'll do FMS1 and uh, return here uh, the autopilot navigation and we got FMS1 here, FMS1 as nav and uh, we are returning to our original mode. So that, that's how you select uh, uh, the navigation source for the uh, HSI here. The MFD uh, gives you a lot of information. Uh, it will tell you here the time, uh, the mode for the uh, uh, the weather radar. This is uh, the tilt for the uh, weather radar, radar, the actual tilt that it's an antenna. We got uh, airspeeds here, true airspeed, ground speed, um, the uh, uh, temperatures here, total air temperature, standard uh, static air temperature, and then uh, we have here some uh, fixes. This is the last fix we crossed and that was 307 miles ago. We cross that as uh, 1411 Zulu, and uh, we're now en route to El Paso, 70 miles, uh, 77 miles off, 11 minutes to go, and we expect to cross 1508. Right now it's uh, 1457. That's the next one, and that's uh, the airport, uh, the last, uh, the, the destination airport, which is uh, about uh, 598 miles off, and now uh, we're one hour and 25 to go. And uh, th this is a cool. Uh, a cool da uh, data that has uh, the beach it. It will tell you how how much fuel uh, will be on, on, the, on the fuel tanks when you land. So you want you want to you want to see here at least a thousand pounds when whenever you're in cruise flight because uh, that will give you about a 45 minute uh, 45 minute to one hour of flight for your alternate and uh, any any other options. So that uh, thousand thousand pounds for reserve is good so uh, right here we got uh, a uh, visual display for the uh, the route we have right now 300 miles uh, range you can select or change the range here we can go lower that's 200 miles 100 miles 50 25 and even you can go to 5 that's the minimum so we're using uh, about uh, 100 miles we'll, we'll keep El Paso there so uh, usually, you 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 want to see 100 miles. You got uh, also traffic here. It will tell you here traffic on. You you can take that off. 
So uh, traffic won't be displayed there. Traffic right now is on. There, there's nobody um, outside there. And uh, you can also select if you want to see above, below, or both. Uh, that that, that uh, maybe sometimes you will have a traffic that is below you. So and, and there's a, a lot of traffic uh, up there. So you, you want to get rid of those so you can see the traffic that is below. So um, everything here is if uh, is is pretty cool. Uh, it it doesn't have a lot of graphical information, but at least it will give you a lot of uh, uh, good information. If if you go down 50 miles or less, you will have uh, fixes here. If you go past that, uh, the fixes are gone, and you will also, uh, only see the BORs. So uh, this is how we fly the airplane. All the instruments are packed in here. And uh, in case we have uh, a, a PFD and MFD failure, we still have a, um, a standby navigation uh, HSI there, we'll, we'll, which will work with the uh, Navigation 1 uh, radio. And you can select, there's, there's a HSI, there's an RMI, and uh, we have a combination with, with a DME and an RMI here that will tell you the BOR uh, selected and the DME there. And uh, right here we got a three standbys, the standby instruments, which is the airspeed, the attitude indicator, and the altimeter. Uh, as, as you can see, this altimeter, uh, it will it will be, uh, become accurate about uh, 20,000 feet or less. Right now we're 40,000 40, feet, as you can tell. 40,000 and 4,300, so that's fine. We, uh, for RVSM, we need these two altimeters over there and over here. And uh, the standby altimeter will use that uh, in case uh, the, these fail. All right. All right, guys. So you now know the main functions of the MFD and the navigation display. I went all through the main functions so you can learn a little bit more about the beach yet and all the symbols that maybe sometimes uh, they look a little bit weird on that, sc that screen so uh, there's a whole bunch of, of, uh, of them but uh, I can cover all of them of course so um, stay tuned for the next episode of the beach yet series if you have any suggestions of anything you want to know of the airplane or anything regarding aviation just comment down below and don't forget to check my Instagram pictures at Lalo Mijares. Thank you and see you on the next episode of the Beach Interior.